In understanding autism, it is very helpful to understand the term mind blindness. Mind blindness, uh, a term was coined by Dr. Simon Baron Cohn in Cambridge University in England. After doing many, many studies about how people communicate beyond verbal communication, including gestural communication, ability to read facial expressions, and picking up the nuances of speech, tone of the speech, while the person is looking at the speaker's eyes, Dr. Simon Baron Cohn came up with the suggestion, autistic individuals are mind blind. They do not seem to read the mind of the other person. Sometimes they have great difficulty looking into the person's eyes. Now how could you read what the other person is thinking if you are not even looking into their eyes? So mind blindness is used as a term to explain how the autistic brain has deficiencies in reading the emotions, the thoughts, the feelings of the other person. Such children, therefore, such people will therefore have great difficulties with social communication. They may have good speech, they may have good grammar, their communication is okay, but it is not socially appropriate because they don't pick up the tone of the speech. They do not pick up a tone of ridicule, being made fun of, being put down. They just don't get it. And he called it mind blindness. You are blind to the mind of the other person. And such people will have great difficulty with social skills, social communication, and socialization. So if you approach it as mind blindness and read what he has said about mind blindness, and there's excellent video on Google, and also he discussed this in a TED talk. If you want to learn about it, put in the word mind blindness, autism, Simon Baron Cohn, and this gentleman will explain to you beautifully what it is.